All right, guys, let's go look for this bird. We need red and or orange, green and yellow. So I'm guessing they're all written on these walls out here. Um, we can't sniff our chart to look for the drawings, but they should stand out a lot against this drab olive green wall. That's great. Um, nothing over here. Okay. So red, 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 red. Here's green, okay. So we're just adding anyway, so 46. I'm just gonna type this into a calculator app so I don't have to forget while I'm walking around. 46, oh, 46 plus, okay. Go look for red and yellow. Red and yellow and red and yellow. Maybe the ones down here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 nope. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. 55. Man, if it wasn't for that actual writing above the uh, subtitles, that would look like 66 to me. All right. And now we need yellow. There's purple. Forget purple. Purple is unimportant to us. Um... Nothing on this hallway. Must be to our left. Do, 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 do. I can identify colors. Imagine if you were colorblind. This part of the game would totally screw you. Because you'd have to find a red and a green one, and you'd be like, well, that looks the same. All right, yellow. So 12. All right. We get 113 out of that, so let's go punch that in. That was that was like we put 003. It's supposed to be 113. Man, we were close just by guessing. Sweet. Not that it was that great of a guess, but you know what? Sometimes you should just be proud of yourself. Bluebird, we don't even give a shit about you. Get out of here. If this is wrong, I don't even. I don't know. I might have read the first number wrong if that's the case, but I think it's right. So let's look. All right, one, one, and three. What? Really? Shit. Hmm. What the heck? What? Isn't that the colors that they are? Let's look at those again. Definitely looks like red, green, yellow to me. Daddy plus mommy plus daughter. Red, green, yellow. What in the hell? Did I read the first one wrong? What did I say that was? 45? Hmm. Let's see. Where did that red one go? Oh, balls. All right, here we go. Did I read this wrong? Mm -hmm. Definitely says 55. All right. To me, it doesn't matter what order you add them in, it's gonna be the same, so what the hell? Did I misread the green number, maybe? Green is 45 plus and the little yellow one is like 13 or something, right? I wonder if that's their ages. Not that it matters, but it would be kind of interesting if it was. Where is the yellow bird? Down here, I think. No, it's purple bird. It's down here. Yellow bird, what is your number? I think it's right here. Yep. Yellow. Plus 12. Oh, maybe I accidentally put 13 last time. Oh my god, I did. I'm an idiot. Oh, I was off by one. That's annoying. Okay. Wow. Way to go, me. What a waste, Jennifer. You can't even do math. Is what they would say to me. And they'd be right, because I can't. Alright. Going back here. Our first number is totally wrong, so we have nothing to be proud of. All right, one, one, two it is. One, 
One, two. We did the thing. Oh, not a dead bird yet. Wow, this bird's for sure dead. It has been in there with no air. News article. July 1930, Daily Flamingo. What a fun name. Husband borrows, quote unquote, 60 pounds from wife's 365 pound bank account. So what, 305? Okay. Let's do it. Three, oh, zero, and five. What? Okay, was it 365? Hold up. Or maybe it should just be 60? Did I read this number wrong again? I apologize, I'm such an idiot. All right, let's look. Oh, we can find stuff with it. All right, there's more to the story. Let's go. Let's go, Brown. Let's figure out the mystery. Open up my timer again, because I was too busy having my uh, stupid whatever. All right, let's go. Following Brown, following Brown. I'm glad they're keeping this math very basic because I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not good at math. I was an English major. Math is not my thing. Not a fan of it. Calculators exist for a reason. I don't need super complex equations. But good ups to people who are good at math. You guys are the bomb. Room number nine. Okay. Oh my lord. What? Husband borrows yet another 30 from the 30 pounds from the wife's bank account. Jesus, are we just not gonna are we just not gonna acknowledge this? Okay. Wow. Okay. Cool. So I guess we're gonna have 275 in that case. All right. What did we where did we just come from? Did we just come from here? 275. All right. Let's go back in here and type in the code. Maybe we'll rescue a bird, hmm? I'm not sure how many boxes we're, we're on now. It's like four or five. Man, this game throws a lot of fucked up shit really nonchalantly in your face. Just like, hey, yeah, there's a squirming person just tied up and covered in crayon drawing and not speaking at all. That's that's a thing that's happening right now. All right, oops, there we go. Yay, we did it. Ah, another one? There's not even a clue. Alone? Oh, no. Little red bird. That's Eleanor's dress, I think, too. Birdie. <laughs> oh, of course she so shows up right when we open it. This is so this game. Like, hey, my best friend in the whole world. Oh, you're holding it's it and it's dead. It must have been you. Awkward. She's gonna slap us. Oh, oh, okay. Brown's kind of interested in this. Where are you going? Where are you going, friend? Ooh, rat. This is kind of a cool like, camera angle. A little creepy with the shadows going on there, but I can deal with it. We're going on an adventure. Oh shit, it reverted back to being the attic. Oh man. What is up with this constant, like, change of location? She's going into the, uh, like, Rule of Rose room. Apparently we followed her. Okay. Donation box. 
<laughs> Why didn't that super piss her off? I have no idea. Can I come in? Am I, like, invited? No? Alright. Cool. Good talking with you guys. Oh. Jeez. What's... Okay. Apparently this is my room now. I upgraded from the filth room. Yeah! Moving on up to the sky. Finally got out of the filth room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep napping after stuff happens though so that's still a thing what do we got here whoa got lagged for a second a slip of paper is beneath the clothing this must be their last page everlasting happiness hmm all right so now we have the full story bird of happiness once a girl found a big box. The bird of happiness was inside. The bird would take her to Foreverland, or ho so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In the cramped dark, dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little, and far too late. The bird was long dead. It had met a bloody fate. The end. The moral. Everlasting happiness is a joke. So we've learned true love can be destroyed by conflict. And everlasting happiness is a joke. Sounds like somebody just went through life. Am I right? Hey oh, things are getting a little too deep. So we'll write that down on our little ch our little chalkboard here. Everlasting true love. I guess we have one more story to get to. We've done Meg's and Eleanor's stories, so I'm gonna guess that this next one will be Diana. What do you think? So far we've had goats and birds. So what animal will we have for her? Assuming that we're gonna keep with the trend. All right, wake up, Sir Nappington. You nap way too much. Come on. Your muscles are gonna atrophy with how much you sleep. How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? Um, hmm, I see you remember the second one. But that's not all of it. You really are a silly girl. Hurry, hurry, read another story, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shut up. All right. One last story, because you asked so nicely. Let's do it. Mermaid Princess. Mermaid Princess. Sweet drawing. A long, long time ago, the mermaid princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the sea kingdom. Who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her? Damn. Didn't realize we were reading my life story there. Ouch. This chapter just requires me to look in a mirror and be like, ah, I know. <laughs> Do I want to save again? Sure, why not? Got nothing to lose, baby. Do it. Save successful. All right, let's go. August 1930, The Mermaid Princess. Oh, mermaids, why are y'all smoking? It's, it's bad for your health. You know that, right? Like, I don't know how you're smoking underwater in the first place. It's not cool. Uh, oh. When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the strong-willed princess was there in the room. What the f- She said sourly. <gasps> Rats, the fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. I am? I learned like two out of three things already? So why don't you get off my back? Alright, well, let's go find this dirty nasty fish. Clearly should be in a cleaner tank when we get back. I'll see you in the next one.